What is good to sell family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla Spy, Infinity, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. And break down what's going on with the overall economy thus far as we have the economic calendar to report, what the news is saying with the market and earnings, which you should be watching for on the charts from Tesla to Spy and to the QQQ and beyond. But before I break into the most information, before I talk about how the market is looking in the pre markets, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500 into the account, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks. Put in $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 free stocks. The offer ends in a couple of days. Check it out before they run out. Anyways, looking at tests, we have this very, very nice bull flag-like formation that is developing on the chart. But the question is, will this play out? What should we be watching for to see if Tesla is going to break out? Or is Tesla going to continue to downtrend and will the bull flag end up failing? So I'll give you guys some answers over the next couple of minutes. But I first want to talk about the data and the economy. I want to talk about a couple of things real quick before we break down the chart. So for today, it's Tuesday, February 20th. At 11.30 a.m., we have the three-month and the six-month bill auctions coming out. So watch them very, very carefully. You might see some volatility today at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. For tomorrow, it's going to be Wednesday. Do not forget, later on, we have the FOMC minutes coming out. So there's going to be high volatility at that time. So be prepared for that as we approach tomorrow. Besides that, the data is kind of minor for today. Now, a couple of things to know about the market. We actually saw some... Uh, stocks drop from the Dow to the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. Many indices are showing some weakness for the time being, but we're going to be watching their key supports. On top of this, uh, Walmart also announced that it agreed to buy Vizio. I'll be breaking more details about that. It's helping Walmart pop for now. Uh, but the Home Depot ended up dropping so far, so that's because of other reasons. I'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Capital One said so it's going to be acquiring Discover Financial Services in a $35 billion all-stock deal. That's good news for them. Uh, there's also some news coming out about Sony to likely re uh, release a refreshed version of the PS5, which is some good news, technically speaking. But we saw Nintendo fall after the report came out that the Nintendo Switch 2 might be delayed this year. So to later this year until like early 2025. And then besides that, uh, you know, don't forget about it. NVIDIA has big earnings coming out. So we're still seeing some headlines about that. So after the market closes, we have NVIDIA's earnings on Wednesday. That's going to be very important. Never forget about that. It's going to hurt or even like help the markets pump or hurt them. We'll just have to wait and see. For Tuesday, which is today, we had Walmart and the Home Depot. Just as a quick summary, Walmart's going to be buying Vizio for a $2.3 billion deal. That's a very, very big TV maker, a smart TV maker. And that's actually uh, pretty strong. Uh, they also saw some very, very good looking earnings. In my opinion, they beat on EPS and revenue. And then down here, you guys can see for the year going forward for the uh, Q1 fiscal 2025, we're going to be looking for a 4 to 5% growth. And this is what we're seeing in the e-commerce industry. We're expecting this to actually dominate for Walmart for the later quarters. So that's some good news for them. For Home Depot, they've beat on earnings and their sales estimates are not looking that bad. But year over year, if you look at the previous quarter, they're actually seeing a decrease in sales by about 3%. And their guidance was not the strongest. So we actually still saw the Home Depot drop despite beating earnings. As far as Tesla goes, as of right now, I didn't, I didn't really see any big headlines that came out. I'm seeing this right here. NVIDIA dethrones Tesla as Wall Street's most traded stock. So it is what it is, guys. I think Tesla and NVIDIA are both incredible companies with so much potential. But do we have to compare them every single time they're traded? Do we have to compare which one's better, which one's worse, which is traded more? The media loves to do that. They love to do whatever they can to bash Tesla because there's a lot of biases there. So don't let this get the best of you. It's a little negative, and I'm not really seeing a very, very big positive catalyst for Tesla yet. So we'll have to wait and see. But let me just call out something very, very important. As you guys know, with this uh, flag that's essentially forming on Tesla, we need a bullish catalyst for this to break out. We need NVIDIA to beat on earnings or something like that. For this to break out, we have to get back above 202.5 at the very least to get a real breakout. And that's where we're going to be looking for a move to about 207 or 212. But as of right now, we're kind of rejecting. We're on this downwards channel for the time being. We could continue to respect this for now before we get some kind of breakout. But otherwise, we're kind of stuck. Now, if we do reject here, watch support at 195. If that fails us, this is where the previous resistance was. Then we're going to be sticking to 192, then 190. And if that fails us, there's 188 coming next. 
But for resistance, as you guys know, for the resistance area, we're going to be watching 198. If it's also get above that, there is hope for it to fill this gap towards like this 200 area. And we'll just have to see how it does. But as of right now, from what I'm seeing on the chart, there is a downtrend on Tesla. It's been trying to rebound towards this upper trend line, so we have to watch this test at 198. But the trend has still been in the downwards direction. So even if we do get like a false breakout, we are going to likely come back down. And as of right now, with the market sinking, Tesla's showing a little bit of weakness. So it could continue to downtrend. I did make this prediction on Monday. I also talked about this on Sunday. And that's what's happening so far. It is downtrending a bit. Could downtrend a little bit lower as we have this imbalance right here at 193 to be eyeing if Tesla loses 195. So this imbalance is acting as kind of like a magnet. And we have this breakout area at 195. So I do see potential for it to come a little bit lower and to retest these lower levels. So I do favor this thing downtrending a little bit more. But in order for us to get that breakout, we have to try to break 198 to fill the gap and push to higher levels. Otherwise, we're still downtrending for the time being and then we'll just have to see how it goes. As far as SPY goes, I was seeing something very similar. Now, never forget that we're either forming a cup and handle on SPY overall, or we have like a double top. So this is like one top and two tops. And we're about to see a bigger drop to lower levels like the 480s. So with this double top like formation, we're going to be looking to see how SPY reacts to 498. If we do try to break above this, we could get very close to 499 or so before we reject again. Or if we fail to break 498 and we reject, we could be heading down towards 496. So overall, with the double top rejection, there's a very, very good chance SPY continues to downtrend. It could pop and then drop as time goes on. The trend is not looking the strongest, so just be very, very careful thus far. Uh, but so far, we're downtrending. Don't forget that we're downtrending. We're going to be looking for a pop when we open before it continues lower. Uh, but we're on an overall downtrend, so just be very, very careful with this. Now, with that being said, going back to Tesla, I forgot to mention, we could pop and drop on Tesla as well could pop a bit and then end up dropping, or we could just reject from here. So don't forget about that for Tesla. But either way, it does look like the trend is still bearish. Anyways, going back to the QQQ, same thing as SPY. Make sure you watch resistance at 430. Uh, and then we also have resistance around 432. So 429, 430, and 432. Watch support at 427. If that fails us, we have a very important support at 425, where the QQQ bounced three times off of. Then we have 423.8 and 422. In my opinion, this looks to me like it's going to try to rebound just a little bit. We could even test 430, maybe a little higher, then reject, and we could end up coming back down to 427, followed by 425. So I'll be watching to see if that ends up being the case. Uh, we got this high right here, made a lower high, so it's technically on a downtrend. Could pop and drop, so just be very careful on the QQQ. For NVIDIA, I think that uh, showing a little bit of weakness. Basically, we did break uh, 725. Uh, we broke this structure forming a triple top like formation. So we're going to be watching to see if we could retest 720. If this breaks, we could pop a little bit more towards 725 and then reject again. We watch support at 715, 712, 707 is going to be a key support followed by 700 and uh, 693. I think it might pop a little bit. Could attempt to push higher then reject very close to the low 720s and come right back down. Look for a little pop and drop. Look for a potential rejection move. And we'll see how it goes from there. But I do believe that this has a little potential to push a little higher before it comes back down and reverses. So watch that very carefully on NVIDIA. And remember, whatever happens to NVIDIA does not matter. It doesn't matter what NVIDIA does for now because what's going to matter more is earnings after the market closes tomorrow. That's going to really determine which way this goes. So don't worry too much about earnings. For Apple, it's attempting to rebound, but watch. 182.5 is resistance. If it does break, this 183 could be coming. 183.5 and then 184.25. For support, make sure you watch 181.36 followed by 180. Now, there's one thing I want to check on Apple just to be safe. Uh, just want to check this for one second. Uh, I am seeing some potential for this thing to try uh, to rebound a little bit. But like I said before, we still haven't broken our 20 EMA at 183. So it might pop a little bit. I could see this pop a little bit towards 183.5. And then we'll see if it rejects or not like it did previously. But I do see it pushing a little bit. This suggests that the market might pop just a bit before it comes back down. So just be very, very careful. With that being said, guys, uh, make sure you watch your levels carefully. Make sure you're very, very careful, and we'll see how the market does. As far as Tesla goes, we'll see how well Tesla could hold up at these levels. It is on a downtrend for the time being. It is downtrending technically. Uh, but we have to see Tesla break this trend line, break 198 to fill this gap, and eventually break 202 to turn back to bullish. 
hasn't gotten the break yet. And so far we're on a downtrend. So it could continue to downtrend temporarily. Uh, might pop and drop or kind of like drop from here a little bit longer before we get some kind of breakout. To get the breakout, we need a bullish catalyst or we need NVIDIA to do well for earnings or something like that to help this thing pop. Otherwise, it's on a downtrend for now. So just be very, very careful. And then we'll see where Tesla tries to base. All right. So we'll see if this pans out. We'll see if we get a break or not. Otherwise, we're still on this downtrend on Tesla. Be patient, guys. Do what you have to do and we'll see how things go. Thank you for listening. Have a great day, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this pre-market update. Watch all your levels and do what you have to do. And I'll see you guys very soon in just a couple of hours. Thank you for listening and peace out.